Imagine waking up in the morning and find that the structure that you put in a lifetime investment is raised. This is exactly what has happened to Lusaka's garden house plots where 27 houses have been brought down, two of whom were fully built houses and 25 at window level. The owners of the houses who acquired plots through the office of the district commissioner are puzzled and disturbed as most of them have low income levels. They are accusing the district commissioner Ashu Kampengere of spearheading the demolition. But at last this time about to panya manyumba. One to show you now this is speaking, others they are dying. Am I even to go to go to my tenga alone kunchito? What you want in a manganyumba? So in a sinenda kunchito pampe no and a paro to get up in a liti. I'm school cause a sinenda to go to chani chicha nyumba. Not in yumba nice series of a tibanga. However, Mr. Kampengele in a telephone interview has denied responsibility and has further complained as the irate victims went on to stone his house. Okay. Ah. Yes. But it was to the my husband. I'm not going to get Nichanta we dani munyumba mukomeko kunyumba wabula bafana wabula babwela munyumba takomako na do ambo kuchita kuponya ma windows ambo kuponya ma stones ambo kuponya ma windows the demolition exercise was conducted between 02 and 06 hours and the Lusaka city council has claimed responsibility a source from the council has told Mubi TV news that the plots are illegal as they have been built on a road reserve a National Restoration Party Nare President Elias Chipim, who had sent his people to go and check on the situation, says he is deeply touched on the matter. So this is not something which developed overnight, which the council was not aware of. So we are deeply troubled by the fact that the council has gone in and effectively damaged the lives of over 240 people. Police are now keeping vigil of the area in case of any possible violence. For now, the owners can only mourn the loss of their lifetime investment. Modern Singala Movie TV News, Lusaka.